Hello everybody, it's Jimmy. I had a really vivid dream night before last and I woke up in the morning and I couldn't stop thinking about it. It was uh, this big problem that, that is facing humankind here and I had this very obvious solution and I thought, boy, this is something that I can solve for humanity in my workshop. So I came in and I started working on this thing, but oft times with uh, those vivid dreams, the, the details will start to slip away. And so by lunchtime, I had almost completely forgotten what the solution was to this big problem. So here's that story. The problem I dreamt about was cheap, green, renewable energy. I dreamed of a device that could provide essentially endless green energy to everyone on the planet. With my solution, car exhaust would be a thing of the past and air pollution would clear up forever. My idea was to make small nuclear reactors on the lathe. I could mass produce these in the shop and solve all of humanity's energy needs. So I came in and I started working on this and it seemed so obvious what this needed to be. So I started working on it. It was going to be a cylinder, not unlike commercial nuclear reactors that are all over the world. But as the day wore on, I started losing track of what the solution was. And so now I'm stuck with this thing. I was trying to figure out, well, what am I going to do with this? It's obvious that it's not going to be a nuclear reactor. And then I thought, gee, this looks an awful lot like some of my canister thingies I've been making. Well, these were going to be nozzles for the reactor vessel, but uh, I guess I'll cut them off and I'll, I'll use them as dots. We're just putting this uh, on the, the chuck there, the tenon we cut, and uh, we'll be using our Forstner bits to hollow this out. I've learned to do this in two or three steps. So what I'll do is uh, I'll start off with an inch, I think seven eighths maybe, and this is about an inch and a half, and this is about an inch and three quarters. And instead of going all the way to the bottom, I'll, I'll take out half of it, in, and then I'll go up in steps, and then I'll do the other all the way to the bottom with the other three and that seems to be the best formula for this. All right, very good. I like the thickness of this. I think I'll have a nice ligament for the top here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cut, cut the top now. using a scraper to get this thing out and then uh, when I get most of the inside of it out I'll go ahead and cut my little mortise to take the, uh, the bottom. If it looks good we'll go ahead and sand it and I'll take off the uh, tenon on the base. That's pretty darn good, I have to say. That's that's going to do. I'm ready to go to sanding on this, and I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a uh, sharp edge on this. I'll just knock it off a little bit with the sandpaper. It's kind of neat, the uh, plugs there, where they go through the pattern that that made on the inside when I, I cut through them. But boy, what a nice... What a nice register and fit between the top and the bottom on, on this. 
So last step here is I'm going to flip this thing around and I'll take the tenon off the bottom. I'm just using my cutoff tool and making real small cuts here. Take my time and I should get a nice finish. And I'm going to cup it out just a little bit so it sits flat around the edge. And just eyeballing it, I can tell I'm already there. But we'll make one more little pass. And I'm just using my small skew to uh, cut this little piece off here. Just take my time with it, nice and easy. And uh, the piece should separate here. Try to get as much of it off as I can. It actually looks pretty good. I may not have to do any sanding. And there it is. I've separated the piece from the live center there and just trimming the bottom. And that should require just a minimal amount of sanding. Let's have a look. That's really nice. That's a really nice uh, concave bottom here. I've got a little nub on the center there, but I'll sand that down. Actually, it's not hurting anything. I just might just leave it there, who knows. good in the chuck oh darn I didn't have it uh, tight enough in the chuck here and I uh, started sanding it and it came loose fortunately I caught it before it went bouncing across the parking lot as I've had happen in the past and I have a little ding right there but um, and another one there so I'm just gonna sand it back down that's all I can do I'm gonna I'll, I'll bring the live center up to it uh, and I'll just use my little, I have a little pad that I'll put on there and I'll, I'll just clean it back up and I'll finish that bottom. Alright, so I'm just bringing the live center up here. I've got this little disc here and uh, it's got a hole in the center of it and I can use my live center just to put some pressure on this so that as I scrape it down a little bit further and re-sand it, I've got some support over here. So. I'm very lucky this is recoverable. It seems like I've, I've made this mistake a couple of times. I, you'd think I'd learn, it, learn from it by now. That little flaw that I just put in there. Let's see if I got it out. Uh, that'll sand out. From, I'm, I'm very lucky. Well, luckily I was able to recover this. And uh, it's 100% usable at this point. So I'm just... Uh, putting my favorite paste wax on here and uh, we'll give her a little shine and then we'll fit a finial on this and brand it and uh, I'll call this one complete. Well there she is. I think she would have made a good reactor vessel. Go ahead and Put a finial on and we'll call her done. I had hope for so much more. Yesterday it was going to be a portable nuclear reactor. Today it's just another crap catcher. I don't think I'm going to win a Nobel Prize for my crap catchers. So we'll just add this to the gallery of crap catchers and it'll go to a an unsuspecting relative or friend for a gift in the near future. This is Jimmy from Stewart Arts saying thanks for watching and I hope you'll leave me a comment and push that like button and if you're not a subscriber I sure hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great day.